Howdy, y'all. I am just throwing something together here in the kitchen, and I thought I would share it with you. This is kind of my version of a shepherd's pie. It's not a real shepherd's pie, but I had some leftovers, and this is what I'm going to do with them. I'm calling it a shepherd's pie. So I'm going to do a bottom crust with these leftover chips, about this many, and I crushed them down. So I've got just crushed tortillas in the bottom. And into this, I'm going to add some ground beef. This ground beef has about a quarter of a white onion, two serrano chilies that had the seeds and the ribs taken out of, and about a tablespoon of minced garlic. And I just cooked them all up together. So that's just about probably half a pound of ground beef and onions, chilies, and garlic. So I'm putting that right there on top of those. Okay. So I've got that right there. Kind of spread it out evenly. Maybe you can see. And on that, I'm going to add, I would have used a small can, but I didn't have a small can. So I'm using half of a big can and I just put the other in a container and put it in the fridge and I'll use it for something else. So half a can of veg oil, put that on there. I like the home style version. Just kind of spread that out. Now you can mix this up if you want to, but I like the kind of layered look and the tortillas uh, absorb any of the oiliness <clears throat> excuse me from the ground beef so that's nice so I have also prepared here um, just by the package directions just a package of mushroom gravy um, it's a cup of cold water and you add this to it and bring it to a boil and then it's ready so that's what's in this pan, is the prepared mushroom gravy. And to that, I'm going to add a can of cream of mushroom soup. I'm just going to put that right in that gravy. Whisk that together, and that is going to make plenty of a rich, beefy, mushroomy gravy. As you can see, it combines nicely when the gravy's warm. It's a little bit hard to get that soup to mix into the gravy when it's not warm. So we have a nice gravy. I'm going to pour that over the vegetables, you can see, and sometimes help it, help it a little bit by moving the veggies around so that the gravy can get down and cover everything. I don't really want to stir it. Oh, the coffee's ready, y'all. Y'all want to come over for a cup of coffee? <laughs> come on, it's ready. I like that donut shop coffee. Y'all like donut shop coffee? Ooh, I love it. So I'm going to put the rest of that gravy on there. That's what makes it good. Good old gravy. I'm going to lift it just a little. Let that gravy sink down through there. Okay. Marina's rubbing on my tripod. Stop, Marina. <laughs> I think she likes the way this smells. Okay, so on top of this, I am going to add my mashed potatoes. Now, these are cold, so they're not going to do as good as they would 
when they're warm these are just leftover mashed potatoes from when I made the meatloaf freezer meals well I made one for our supper and then put one in the freezer so yeah I'm gonna put the mashed potatoes on top and I don't have a whole lot of mashed potatoes so I need to try to make them smash out Marina is always my helper in the kitchen when I'm cooking. She's always around my feet. Sometimes too much. Sometimes she gets in the way a little bit. Okay. Now, if I had more potatoes, I would take it all the way to the side, but I'm really not worried about it because when this cooks, that gravy will bubble around and make a nice kind of crispy edge so this is my kind of spicy version of a shepherd's pie with beef and mushroom gravy uh, I'm gonna pop this in the oven and everything in it's fully cooked so probably 30 maybe 45 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit maybe less depending um, or I could cover this with foil and put it in the freezer and from frozen it would probably take about an hour and a half a little bit more but I'm not gonna freeze it I'm gonna go ahead and cook it and thanks for joining me if you try my spicy shepherd's pie kind of a Tex-Mex shepherd's pie I hope you enjoy it y'all be sweet <laughs>